So anytime I work with athletes that have lower back pain, my goal is to get them to a phase where I can say, hey, we're gonna bulletproof your back from hurting again. Today, I wanna share the way that I bulletproof athletes back so that once we get through injury, we can try to keep, try our best to keep the pain from coming back. But if you're not having back pain, this can be a way for you to build your core strength and prevent back pain. And if you are having some back pain, there's a good chance that these exercises can help you to feel a little bit better. But if you are having back pain, make sure you see a doctor first to make sure it's safe to do these. But in any right, in, uh, in, in, anyway, let's get into them. It's the big three. So when we're looking at improving core strength and stability to help protect our lower back and our pelvis and hips, there's a bunch, there's thousands of exercises. Where do we start? Which ones do we do? Which ones are most important? So many questions. A lot of times the easiest answer is the most simple. And there's actually a way that you can strengthen all of the muscles that support your lower back and your hips and your core in three moves. Really, really simple, just three moves. And today I wanna to show you what those three moves are. So when we look at our core, we look at our spine, we have to look at the ways that our core can move, right? So what are called our planes of motion, which is a real fancy way of saying what direction does our body move? There are three of those. We have forward and back, we have side to side, and we have rotation. So if we're going to improve our strength and stability of our spine in all three of those planes of motion, we need an exercise for each one. So now you see how we can do everything with just three moves. So I wanna show you the three moves that I use in the clinic and also here at the gym with the kids that I work with here uh, that we use to help get rid of some back pain if they have it and we know that it's safe to, or prevent low back pain, or if we're coming out of rehab, these are the three things that I show them to make sure that it doesn't come back. So our first one is going to be working on our forward range of motion. So working on increasing strength here, not just our abs, but our deep core. So for this movement, we would lay on our back, bring one knee up and plant that foot on the ground. With the other leg extended, we're going to drive our low back into the ground, thinking about lifting our shoulder blades up off the floor. We're gonna hold that for five seconds and then lower back down. This should not be a chin tucked. It should not be a chin shooting out. The goal is to feel our shoulder blades lift off the floor. We would perform a five second hold there and we would lower and we do another five second hold and lower and we would do three of those for 15 total seconds of holding. From there, we simply switch legs. We would straighten our other leg out, bring the first knee up and then from there, we're gonna repeat three holds for five total seconds. And a way that we can make this more challenging, let's say if we have an athlete that says, hey, those are easy now, I wanna to continue to build strength. All we would do is either extend the time that we're holding or extend the reps that we're holding, or we would take our straight leg and actually lift it off the floor. So with this exercise and with the other two, there's an infinite amount of ways that we can make it more challenging to continue to work on improving our strength. For our second exercise, we're gonna work on this sideways movement, okay? For this exercise, we're gonna get into a side plank. Now, I like to start all athletes on their knees and elbow. And the reason for that is I wanna make sure we have a good baseline to start with before we start intensifying the exercise. So from here, we would lay on our side with our elbow directly underneath our shoulder, and we would lift our hips off the floor to make a straight line from the shoulder to the knees. The one thing we also wanna make sure is that our hips are completely forward and we're not sticking our butt out sideways like looking like this. We want to have the hips forward as we're on our knee. Now, for this, we're gonna hold for 30 seconds or as long as you can. Goal is to get to 30 seconds. We would do that on each side. Now, to progress this and make it more challenging, my recommendation is to lift off the knees and get to the feet. I'm not a big fan of sideways high, side, uh, side high planks, only because it puts the shoulder in a really compromised position for an unnecessary reason. We can get just as much work on the core by lifting the top leg if we want to, by dropping the hip and raising it, kind of doing repetitions, but I just don't see a lot of value in posting on the hand with a high shoulder because of the instability that that can cause. So if we want to make this harder, go with straightening your leg out and then potentially raising the top leg while you hold. For our last exercise, we're gonna work on that rotational movement that we talked about earlier. Now, we're not gonna actually rotate for this exercise. We're gonna try to fight rotation. And I know that sounds kind of backwards, but think about it this way. If I wanted to work on my bicep strength, I can move my arm in this flexed position. 
Now, if I don't move my arm, but I still hold a weight, I'm still working my bicep, but I'm fighting the weight trying to pull my arm back straight. So even though I'm not actually moving my arm, I'm still working the same muscles. This exercise is following that same concept. Even though I'm not twisting, I can still use those twisting muscles to fight twisting and I will still get the same benefit. So this exercise is called a bird dog. So a bird dog we've done before, you've seen it in some of our videos for the lower back. And what the bird dog is, is we're gonna start on all fours. We're gonna get our hands underneath our shoulders and our hips are gonna be directly on top of our knees. From here, we're going to extend one, out, one arm out overhead and the opposite leg is going to extend behind us. Now, when we're in this position where we have one arm and the opposite leg extended, our rotational muscles are having to fire and stabilize to keep us from rolling one direction or the other. And in doing so, we're working those rotation muscles without actually having to rotate. For this exercise, we're gonna do it very similarly to how we did with our brace. We're going to hold for five seconds, and then we're gonna come down and, and we're gonna switch. So we'll right arm up, left arm back, and then we'll switch, left arm up, right arm back, five second holds, and we'll do three on each side again for a total of 30 seconds of work. Very, very important with this is not to let the head sink or let the head arch up. We wanna keep that spine neutral and make sure that the only thing that's moving is our hand reaching out overhead and our foot kicking back behind us. Thanks so much for joining me for this video, guys. I hope that these three moves, the big three, are helpful with you if you're having uh, some lower back pain or if you're working uh, you know, after a rehab protocol, you're looking for tools to get stronger, um, or if you wanna use this as a preventative tool, it's a very, very easy way to add very easy exercises to your routine to help strengthen your core and stabilize your low back. Very, very important, again, if you're having lower back pain, this is not something to ignore, please go see your healthcare provider, go see your doctor, make sure that these are safe to do before you try them. Last thing we wanna do is have an injury that we overlook. For more videos like this, click the link above, and if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, click this link right here, hit the bell for notifications, and we'll catch you guys on the next video.